welcome to my hometown of Prescott, Arizona. Welcome to Prescott, Arizona, just a quick hour and a half drive north of Phoenix. In this video, I'm excited to share with you my hometown, which is beaming with Americana, adventure, and history. Prescott sits at 5,200 feet and has four seasons. It's surrounded by one of the largest ponderosa pine forests in the United States. There are four beautiful lakes around town and a ton of outdoor adventure activities for the entire family. Prescott is one of the most historical cities in Arizona and once was the state capital. The heart of Prescott is the Courthouse Square, which is surrounded by sprawling lawn shops, restaurants, and entertainment, and the world famous Whiskey Row, where even Doc Holliday and Wyatt Earp once roamed. So let's start there. Hi guys, right now we're in Prescott on the Courthouse Square, and right behind me is the Courthouse. We love to come here and have picnic on the grass and chill out. There's always art fairs, festivals, singers happening right here. It's a great place. It's surrounded by shops on all four corners of this square. It's amazing for shopping. And last but not least, the world famous Whiskey Row is in this direction. And we're gonna check it out right now. So come on with me. We are outside the Palace Restaurant and Saloon, and it's listed as one of the top 10 most historic bars in America. It's a great restaurant, and we're going to go inside and check it out, and we're going to learn a little bit about the history. Let's go! Love it. Watch out for the door. I didn't know you were going to do that. Although the palace is known for its great western bar, it's also a great place for the entire family to eat lunch or dinner. Our kids love the theme restaurant and food. Did you know that in the 1900s, that the whole whiskey row burnt down and the customers sitting at this bar over here actually took out the whole entire bar and moved it across the street and were serving drinks as they watched the whole place burn down. That is crazy. And then they rebuilt this bar called the Palace and they moved the bar back in. So it is still the original bar. But more importantly, how is the food and service here? Very good. And by the way, speaking of food, there's our food right now. Thank you. And here's a fun fact. Ghost Adventures did an episode on the palace, and the women's bathroom and downstairs are both haunted. You can go check it out yourself. The palace is very kid-friendly and a great place to visit. There are also so many other places on Whiskey Row like Matt's Saloon, Jersey Lily, and The Birdcage, which are all pretty much adults only. So check out our full video on Whiskey Row Pub Crawl. Insider tip, when you're done eating, head a couple doors down to the local treat center for some great sweets and ice cream. Young's Ice Cream has the best ice cream and they also have really good popcorn balls. So, so, so good. So I can smell in. it outside already. You can. Oh my God. Banana gummy bears. Have you ever heard of that? And what are they? Banana gummy bears. Let me see them. Banana gummy bears. Nope. Have not. What do you got? Actually, it's a big jar burger. That would break your jaw. So their ice cream is really, really good. Right here. It's right there. Banana walnut. It's so good. Highly recommend it. All right. Prescott has one of the best 4th of July parades and celebrations in the Southwest. And it's actually my favorite holiday and a weekend we never miss. The parade is so popular that Matt shows up at 3 a.m. to get the best spot and waits for us to arrive when the parade starts. The parade is a lot of fun and one of our favorite traditions. 
But the most exciting event is after the parade called the Whiskey Row Boot Race. And our kids love running in it every year. The kids have been racing in the boot race since they were three years old. Well, Kinsey didn't win this race, but she was fourth overall and the first girl to finish. And she did it all in her boots and her favorite 4th of July dress. Just a few years earlier though, both kids were boot race champions and it was kind of a big deal. It's not as easy as it looks. Matt even tried one year in his age group and well, he didn't walk away with any trophies. The 4th of July parade in Prescott is definitely fun for the entire family. The parade isn't the only fun during 4th of July weekend. Prescott also has the world's oldest rodeo. That's right, the world's oldest. And is absolutely worth checking out. Let's try. So from the parade to the boot race and all the shops and vendors around the courthouse square and capping off with the world's oldest rodeo, 4th of July is no doubt my favorite weekend in Prescott. Now let's move on to some more summer fun activities. Whiskey Row is not just for drinking whiskey. There are a ton of great shops and boutiques to find whatever you're looking for. Kinsey and I are going to highlight a few of our favorites. Prescott has some of the most adorable boutiques around the courthouse, and I love checking them out. Let's go. I don't know. So for tonight's dinner, I'm stuck between these pair of boots and these pair of boots. <laughs> It's a hard call. <laughs> so Close Hound is one of my favorite boutiques in Prescott. I told you they had cute stuff. Cortez Street Emporium is always fun. They have some really cool stuff. Oh yeah, guys, do you like my awesome bag? She got a little bag. This is Cortez Street Emporium. Super fun in here. Holy Cindy Mancini, can't find me love, love. Yeah. <laughs> Prescott is also known for its many summer camps. There are adventure camps, church camps, horse camps, and sports camps. And one of the highlights for Parker every summer is coming to Camp Skywy. This camp is so awesome. Every year I'm like, I want to come camp here. All right, all checked in. Walk in Parker to his cabin at Skywy. Weather's beautiful. All right, here it is, cabin four. Gotta go check him in. We definitely miss Parker, but he gets to spend a whole week unplugged at camp and always has a great time. Prescott also has a local Saturday summer market, which is a great place to find local crafts and food. Hi guys, today we're at the Farmer's Market in Prescott and we're gonna go check it out. Come with me. Hi guys, let's go, they have chocolate. Definitely chocolate. I need coffee. Was that a good one, Kenzie? Goat soap. I think it's made out of goat's milk. Some goat okay. soap. How do you say it again? It's a samosa. A samosa. So what kind did each of you guys get? I got apple. Apple? Spicy chicken. I got okay. chorizo, which is like really spicy chicken. Okay. How does it taste? Good? Yeah, it was just like little apple popper. Ooh, yummy. If you ever see these, 
get them. Get them? Okay, okay. I eat like eight of them. Yes, I, uh, my stomach's full now. I eat a bunch of food. I had a tamale, samosa, a lemon bar, and some coffee. So it was a good farmer's market experience for me. What did you guys think? I liked it. I'm I liked stuck. all the food. I'm stuck. It was good. If you guys ever are in Prescott and have the chance to come here, check <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna kick back and uh, maybe listen to this band for a bit and then uh, head downtown. See ya. Yeah. Prescott even has a zoo, and I used to volunteer here as a kid, and I have the best story to tell you. So let's check it out, and when we get inside, I'm gonna tell you this story. Ooh. It's a good story. <laughs> it's a good one. All right. This is another good exhibit the bobcats. And we see these at our house in Phoenix. All the time. But this guy is pretty close right now. Very cool. Very. Wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All righty then. I That's will get out of your life. face. Wow. So many, many moons ago, I used to volunteer here, and one of the cats took a great liking to me because I fed it, right? Um, well, it wasn't just a cat. What kind of cat was it? And it was a tiger, a big tiger too. And so we were about to feed it one day, my friend Laurel and I, and it sprayed me. It sprayed me. Yes, I said the cat sprayed me. Yeah. And if you haven't seen a tiger spray a person. What did it ever, spray you with? Urine is oh, a spray. Oh, that's kind of like funky. A, like okay, land. we get it. Yeah, it was Ew. just disgusting. And it smelled so bad and it, it got of all over my back and my head. So, not yeah, perfect. like Parker said, but it just meant it liked me. It was marking me as its territory. That's right, and that is a funny <laughs> story. Lining. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna catch this chicken over here. Let's see it. It's gonna half life. Very cool. Mom caught a chicken. So are we gonna get? Are we getting chicken wings for lunch? What are we gonna do? That's it for the Prescott Zoo, and we always like coming here, though it's small, but you can get really close to the animals and they interact with you, so that's primarily why we always still continue to come here to this zoo. So that's it on my hometown zoo. <laughs> now let's hit the lakes and check out our family's favorite pastime, kayaking. There are four major lakes around Prescott, so let's get on the water. This is Lynx Lake, and it's one of the largest lakes, and it's the only lake in Prescott that you can actually swim in. There's also a great place to have lunch here at a restaurant overlooking the lake. However, one of our favorite things to do is bring our own lunch and eat while on the lake. We're going to go find ourselves a spot to eat lunch on the side of the lake. And they're off. All right, it's time for me to go catch them. We're all on the lake, we made it. So Kinsey has a famous game that we always play when we go kayaking. What is it, Kinsey? Kayak tag. So basically, you just are in your kayaks and you play tag on the lake with the kayaks. All right, that's our fun. On the lake, we're gonna play some kayak tag and go find a spot to eat our lunch. After a couple rounds of kayak tag, we were all hungry, so it was time to float and eat. Here's a quick look at the other lakes around Prescott. This is Watson Lake, Goldwater Lake, and Willow Lake. Don't forget to check out our full video on the Prescott Lakes. One of Matt and Parker's favorite activities in the outdoors is mountain biking, and Prescott has over 100 miles of the best trails in the state. In April, Prescott hosts the Whiskey Off-Road, which is one of the largest mountain bike race weekends in the entire Southwest. There's a race for the pros, amateurs like Matt, and even an awesome kids race. Parker. Just take it. Whiskey Off-Road Kid Race. You can go. The race is fun for all ages and parents can ride along with their kids. Kid race, Parker and Kenzie ripping it through the trails. 
Where's your hometown? Let us know in the comments below. Kenzie's out front. Kenzie at the finish. The race finishes right in the middle of Whiskey Road in front of a huge cheering crowd. It's such a fun weekend for the entire family. And if you like mountain bike riding, you can ride in Prescott most of the months of the year. If you'd rather get outdoors on your own two feet, you can also take a hike. Well, up Thumb Butte, of course. Thumb Butte is a distinct landmark overlooking the town. It has great hiking and biking trails and is also a great place to picnic and have fun. Prescott has a great trail system and we've hiked a lot of the trails over the years. There are trails around most of the lakes and all through the national forest. There are even several great watering holes if you know where to find them. Let's not forget the golf courses around town. At the links today with Kenzie, and it uh, kind of reminds me of a story a buddy of mine told me once about how he would get his daughter to go golfing with him by bribing her with new golf outfits and clothing. I mean, that's ridiculous. That's crazy. Who would do that? I mean, Kenzie's just super excited to be out here with me today. Right, Kenzie? Of course, Daddy. And by the way, thanks for my new outfit. Hey! We love seeing the wildlife in Prescott, sometimes right outside the front door. And Zuzu loves meeting new friends. This was one of the prettiest deers I've ever seen. We can't talk about Prescott without mentioning Nat's alma mater, Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University the world's largest private aviation aerospace university. This is where Matt began his flying career. We're gonna go check out my old dorm room from freshman year. Here it is, room 2214. And unfortunately we can't see in there, but the cool thing is the building is still standing. <laughs> and when we opened the windows, we could actually see the lake. So I had a lake view freshman year. That was pretty cool. But... Well, that's about all I can fit in this episode of Escaping the Bubble. I love my hometown of Prescott so much, and I think if you were to visit, you would too. It's full of so much charm, history, Americana, and outdoor adventure. And once again, I couldn't share everything in just one video. So don't forget to check out our video on the Prescott Lakes, the Prescott Zoo, and our fun video on the Whiskey Row Pub Crawl. I hope you enjoyed escaping the bubble with our travel family in my hometown of Prescott, Arizona. We want you to escape the bubble. Like and subscribe. Don't forget to tell us about your hometown and share a fun fact in the comments below. Look around.